students from Bishop O'Connell, Westlake High School, and Quince Orchard meet today on It's Academic. Hello everybody, I'm Hillary Howard and welcome to It's Academic's 60th season. Wow, and it is sponsored as it has been for more than 50 years by Giant Food. We are so happy you're with us again for our Zoom. It's academic. Uh, let's get right to it and meet the teams. And the first team we're going to meet is Bishop O'Connell from Arlington, Virginia. Patrick Wilcox, how you doing? I'm good. Good, tell us about yourself. I'm Patrick Wilcox. I'm a senior from Oakton, Virginia. And today I'd like to thank our coach, Coach Owens, for supporting the team. And we would also like to remember our friend and teammate, Andrico Bilanuk, who passed away from cancer earlier this year. I am so sorry. And we're so grateful that you're with us. Uh, Christopher, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Christopher Mendel. I'm a senior at O'Connell from Woodbridge, Virginia. And I would also like to thank our coach and the administration of our school. Wonderful. And finally, Georgia. Hi. So my name is Georgia Hoffman. I am a sophomore at Bishop O'Connell. And I would like to thank uh, family, friends, and especially Coach Owens and everyone who's supported us. Wonderful. It's really good to have you guys here. All right. In this, tea, in this uh, round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. Here's your first clue. Llama in Eden. Hidden in this phrase is the name of what northernmost New England state known for potatoes, not llamas? Maine. Maine is right. To use oars, a line of seats. What same word would fit both these definitions? Row. Row. Yeah, row is right. Biography should be written by an blank enemy. To complete this quotation from a British prime minister, place in the blank space what word that describes an angle of less than 90 degrees? Acute. Acute it is. Cello, double bass, viola. A small student wanting to play a musical instrument might hesitate at the idea of which of these, the largest member of the violin family. The cello. Cello. No, it's double bass. Sorry about that. Political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. This quote is from what Chinese Communist Party chairman whose political power lasted until his death in 1976? Mao. You are right, Mao Zedong. Well done, Bishop O'Connell, 180 points. Time to meet the team from Westlake High School in Waldorf, Maryland. And they're special because it's the first time Westlake is on It's Academic. Welcome to It's Academic, guys. Yay! First person we're going to meet is Skylar Adams. How you doing, Skylar? I'm good. Hi, my name is Skylar Adams. I'm a senior at Westlake High School, and I'd like to thank our principal, Ms. Roberts, and our graduated team member, Hannah Schaffner. Awesome. Elijah, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? My name good. is Elijah Watkins. I'm a junior. I want to thank my friends and family. Beautiful. And finally, Deidre. Hi, I'm Deidre. I'm a junior at Westlake High School, and I'd like to thank our coaches, Ms. D'Onofrio and Ms. Finch Howard. Wonderful. Here we go, guys. Your first question. Great lasso rope. If you study this phrase, you can find hidden within it the name of what mythical figure condemned forever to hold up the heavens on his shoulders. Lasso? I'm sorry? Lasso? No, it's Atlas. We were looking for you to unscramble the words for the answer. Okay. Next clue. A small rodent, a computer accessory. What same word fits both these definitions? A mouse. That's it. Conceit is to humans what blank is to the ocean. To complete this statement from Oliver Wendell Holmes, please add what common chemical compound, also known as sodium chloride? Salt. That's it. Baffin Island, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland. Here are three large Canadian islands. Which one is virtually uninhabited because it's in the Arctic Ocean? 
Bathin Island? That's right. Only the dead know the end of war. This observation was made centuries ago by what Greek philosopher who was a student of Socrates and a teacher of Aristotle? Plato? Yeah, you've got it, nice. 180 points for Westlake High School. Time to meet the team from Quince Orchard High School from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Hey, Davis, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm Davis. I'm a senior at QO. I also do Model UN, and I would like to thank our alternate, Riley, for supporting us today. Wonderful. Vivian, hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. My name is Vivian. I'm a senior at Quince Orchard. Um, I like painting and drawing, and I'd like to thank our assistant principal, Ms. Lee, and our coach, Mr. Schumann. Wonderful. And finally, John, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is John. I'm a sophomore at Quince Orchard High School, and I would like to thank the It's Academic crew for making this show possible. And well, of course, we, we couldn't do it without you. Okay, Quince Orchard, here's your first question. Box for daisies. Hidden in this flowery phrase is the name of what renowned English university founded back in the 12th century? Oxford. 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 It is Oxford, yeah. Church music instrument, any major body part. What same word fits both these definitions? Organ. Organ. Organ it is. We are not a nation, but a blank of equal states. To complete this quotation from a 19th century politician, add what word that is also used to refer to a labor organization? Union. Union is right. Precision instruments, automobiles, oil, which of these is a major export of Switzerland? Precision instruments. That's it. The only thing I'm afraid of is fear. Long before Franklin Roosevelt made a similar statement, we have this quote from what English Duke who defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo? Answer? Of Wellington. Nice job, Quinn Sorcher. 200 points. Don't go away. Picture Perfect Round is next. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for the Picture Perfect Round. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down, 10 points off if you don't answer a question. Are you ready, O'Connell? I'll take that as a yes. All right, here we go. At this forge, Hephaestus employed the services of what group of one-eyed creatures such as Polyphemus? Cyclops. Cyclopsis. Cyclops, yeah, that's it. Simplify this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Six. Six is right. These ruins can be seen in what Indian Ocean Island country located near India whose largest city is Colombo? Sri Lanka. It is Sri Lanka. Nice. 240 points for Bishop O'Connell. Okay, Westlake High School, you're up for the picture perfect round. Here we, here, here's your first clue. Over the centuries, a multitude of hot springs produced this Wyoming terrace, named for what Roman goddess associated with the Greek Athena? Answer is... Minerva. Minerva. Solve for X. Have an answer, guys? In three, two, one. The answer is five. Known as the City of Sales, this is what A initialed city, New Zealand's largest. It is Auckland. Westlake High School, 150 points. Quince Orchard, you're up for the picture perfect round. Here's the first clue. Among the flowers you see here is what blossom, named for the mythical Greek youth who fell in love with himself when he saw his reflection? Narcissus. Narcissus. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Solve for X. Answer? 
is? The answer is three. Claude Monet, who painted this work, served with the French army in what North African country, then a French colony bordered by Libya and Tunisia? Algeria. Right? That's right. Nice job, Quince Orchard, 230 points. Don't go away because we're gonna meet the coaches next. It's time to meet the coach from Bishop O'Connell from Arlington, Virginia. David Owens, it's so good to have you. Good morning, Hillary. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. Awesome. So good to have you here. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much. And now, of course, it's time for the packet round. In this round, as you know, correct answers are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. Don't worry. And a 25 point bonus if you get all of the questions correct. Bishop O'Connell, here's your first question. The U.S. Aerial Experimental Association was founded not by an aviator, but by what man famous for his invention of the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell. That's it. You won't find much gold in Yellowstone Park, but around the rims of the geysers, you'll see what yellowish non-metallic element whose symbol is S? Sulfur. Sulfur, Sulfur it is. Photosynthesis, peristalsis, phototropism. When the leaves of a plant turn in the direction of light, it illustrates which of these phenomena? Photosynthesis. No, sorry, phototropism is the answer. Here's your next question. Waiters on roller skates could serve 5,000 diners at a time in the Royal Dragon, a restaurant in what capital city of Thailand? You got this in three, Bangkok. Two. Yeah, that's it, Bangkok, good. Many cats shed hair, but what cat in Alice in Wonderland shed its entire body when it vanished, leaving only its grin behind? The Cheshire the Cat. The Cheshire Cat. Yeah, that's it. Here's your math question. Six. <laughs> Six is right. For people at home, simplify this fraction, stating your answer is a positive integer. Yes, good. Next question. A first official White House automobile was delivered during the administration of what 27th president, a Republican elected in 1908? William Answer? Howard Taft. Yeah, nice. 360 points for Bishop O'Connell. Okay, let's meet the folks who get the team members ready at Westlake High School. And we're going to begin with Principal Diane Roberts. How you doing, Diane? I'm so happy you guys are on It's Academic. Thank you. I'm wonderful. Glad to be here. And there are two co-sponsors for this team, Natalie Finch Howard and Amanda D'Onofrio. We're so glad to have you guys here. Thank you so much. All right, now it's time to hear from the teammates on Westlake High School in this packet round. Here's your first clue, guys. Back in 1860, before the miracle of texting, letters were carried by teenage boys working for what postal relay system named for the horses they rode. Wells Fargo? Nope, it's Pony Express. After pardoning 180 officials, what Russian czar known as the Terrible ordered the massacre of the entire population of the city of Novgorod in 1570? Peter the Great? I'm sorry, Captain, what's the answer? Peter the Great? No, it's Ivan the Terrible. Here is your science question. Parkinson's law, Avogadro's constant, Boyle's law. Which of these explains the relation between the volume and pressure of a gas at constant temperature? Boyle's law? Answer? Yep, that's it. Good, Boyle's law. In 1824, what French nobleman returned to America for the first time since he had fought in the Revolutionary War as an aide to George Washington? Marquis de Lafayette. That's it. Among the famous writers born on New Year's Day was what American who wrote Catcher in the Rye? Answer? I don't hear you. I see your lips moving. Oh, uh, I was going to say Mark Twain. 
No, J.D. Salinger. I know you knew that one. Here's your math question. Solve for x, giving your answer as a positive integer. Answer? Yeah. In uh, 2. 34 is the answer. Sorry about that. A graduate of Southwest Texas State Teachers College, what 36th president learned a lot of lessons himself as chief executive during much of the Vietnam War? Answer? In three, two, one, I know you know this, Lyndon Johnson. Westlake High School, 190 points. Time to meet the folks who helped prepare these students at Quince Orchard for its academic. And the first one, of course, the coach, Joshua Schumann. Good, thanks. My name is Joshua Schumann. I'm a 41-year-old teacher and academic coach from Quince Orchard High School. And I'd like to thank you, Hillary, for allowing me to speak on my 28th time on this show. Woo! Thank you so much for being here. It's always awesome to see you wearing your red. And also here, uh, Assistant Principal Edith Lee. It's great to have you. All right, Quince Orchard, time for the packet round. Here's the first question. One of Hans Christian Andersen's most popular stories deals with what type of legendary creature that's half fish, half woman? Mermaid. Mermaid is right. The U.S. Park Police have a burial ground for their horses on what Virginia battlefield, the first major land battle of the Civil War? Um, Say Bull Run. That's it. It's yes, yes and yes. <laughs> on your screens for the science question. Isomerism, polymerization, increment addition. Which of these terms refers to the process by which large organic molecules may be produced from smaller molecular units? I'd go with the first one, but. Isomerism. No, it's the second one, polymerization. Washington has its White House, but the Blue House is the executive mansion in what capital of South Korea? Uh, Seoul. Yeah. What same major historical event that included the reign of terror provides the backdrop for both a Scarlet Pimpernel and a Tale of Two Cities? French Revolution. Yeah, French Revolution. That's it. Here's your math question. What is the value of this expression, giving your answer as an integer? Uh, is it 18? It is 18. A song called Listen to the Mockingbird was dedicated to Harriet Lane, who served as the official White House hostess for her uncle, what 15th president? Um, Buchanan. Yeah, Buchanan. that's right, Buchanan. All right, Quince Orchard, 350 points. Don't go away. We've got the grab bag round coming up next. Time for the grab bag round. And in this round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points up or down, 30 points for the visual questions. And we begin with Bishop O'Connell. Here's your first question. The year 1911 saw the deaths of 145 workers in a fire at a New York factory whose name included what geometric figure? Triangle. Triangle. Yes, it's now part of New York University, believe it or not. Towering more than 13,000 feet above sea level, Kings Peak is the highest mountain in what western state, which also includes Zion National Park? Answer? In three, two, one. Colorado. No, it's Utah, beautiful mm -hmm. Utah. Choice. Milk sugar has the same chemical composition as sucrose with the addition of water. The common name for milk sugar is lactose, dextrose, or maltose? Lactose? lactose. Yeah. Interstate 5 is the principal U.S. highway between Seattle and what largest city in British Columbia? Vancouver. It is Vancouver. This mask was crafted in what most populous African country whose largest city is Lagos? Answer? South Africa? No, it is Nigeria. Great job, Bishop O'Connell, 370 points. Westlake is up for the grab bag. Here's your first question, guys. 
What 19th century Scottish American became wealthy in the steel industry and gave away $350 million, the equivalent of $65 billion today, much of it for libraries? The answer is Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie. Visitors to the Galapagos Islands learn the islands are part of what South American nation named for its location at zero degrees latitude? The answer is Ecuador. Choice. Air rises or sinks as it warms or cools. Is the natural circulation of heated air called radiation, conduction, or convection? Convection. You are right. One term of the Versailles Treaty, which Hitler ignored in 1938, was the section forbidding an Anschluss, uniting Germany and what neighboring country? The, the USSR? No, Austria. And your last question? This is the port city in what East African country where Mogadishu is capital? And the answer is? Somalia. Westlake High School, 120 points. Quince Orchard, your turn at the grab bag. In his study, The Origin of Species, Charles Darwin quoted what U.S. naturalist and artist who himself had published The Birds of America. Audubon. That's it. A Vietnamese phrase meaning golden sieve is thought to be the origin of what name by which Ho Chi Minh City was known until 1975? Saigon. Yeah, nice. Choice. A yeast cell, unlike most cells in your body, has which of these? A cell membrane, a cell wall, or cilia? Is cell it wall. a cell wall? Yeah, it is a cell wall. British Admiral Andrew Cunningham is credited with the successful World War II rescue of over 16,000 troops from what largest Greek island? Um, Crete. Yes, it is. On your screens for 30 points. For many years, geologists have studied these natural rock formations in what European country where Sofia is capital? Bulgaria. It is Bulgaria. Quince Orchard, nice job, 460 points. Hey, stay where you are because we'll have the scores and the winner next. The scores are now official. We begin with Westlake High School from Waldorf, Maryland on their inaugural It's Academic Show. 120 points, guys. We look forward to seeing you next year. Bishop O'Connell from Arlington, Virginia, 370 points. And coming back for a playoff, Quince Orchard High School from Gaithersburg, 460 points. Well done, guys. Please make sure you join us next week when we have Blake, Sherwood, and South Lakes. And next week, be sure that you tune in at our new regular time of 10 a.m. Can't wait to see you then. I'm Hillary Howard. Have a great day. Bye.